this carving project, we're going to be carving a upper uh, maxillary left first molar. And our dimensions, our initial dimensions are, uh, there's a lot of dimensions. We won't be carving the roots on this, only the crown. So the three dimensions we'll be paying attention to are the facial lingual measurement, me measurement of 11.8, a um, mesial distal measurement of 11.3, <clears throat> and a gingival occlusal measurement of 8 millimeters. So, that in mind, here's our wax block. I'm going to go ahead and mark our block so we know which side is the facial side. We'll put some F out here so we know which side to orient ourselves to. Um, our facial lingual measurement is 11.8. I've set my micrometer at 12. position the tooth more or less in the center of the block. So there's our two marks on our facial lingual measurement. Our mesial distal measurement is 11.3. We'll set it about 11.5. Eight for our gingival occlusal, and I believe that eight was measured on the facial side. That's going to be the bottom part of our gingival. So, again, we're going to form a shoulder just like we've done on some previous assignments. So, the square is going to come down like this, essentially. But we're going to form a shoulder instead of having it squared out at the corners. We'll form a shoulder. So these are the areas we'll be removing the wax. Something like that. This is a medial view, of course. Okay, so, and with regards to how deep we'll go on the medial side, uh, we know that 8 is the deepest spot, but up between, we won't be quite that high, so we'll probably come down about 5 millimeters. Down to about that point. Okay, here we go. Let's start with our facial cut. So we'll take our knife, put it right on the line. We're going to rock the knife back and forth until the knife blade slightly out towards the facial. And you're going to rock it back and forth and take a substantial chunk, and I don't really care how far down it goes. We'll form that gum line eight millimeters down. So there's our first cut on the facial surface. We'll now make a, a cut on the lingual surface. Again, we'll just point it slightly out, away from the center of the block. Rocking the knife back and forth until we get a nice smooth plane reduction. So there's our first two cuts. This is our facial side, this is our lingual side. I haven't really paid much attention to how far down they went. We'll deal with that a little bit later. Now we're going to do our mesial and distal cut. In this case, we're going to go straight up and down with the knife. And then I'm going to come over about to the top of that 
crass, so this is about five millimeters down. And I'm going to rock back and forth there, so I'm cutting a corner out. Well, on the mesial and distal side, that's more of the kind of cut I'm making as opposed to those gradual inclines. Let's go to the other side. And straight down in the wax. Come over to the other side, about five millimeters down. Four or five millimeters down. Okay, so from a facial view, that's what I now have. From a mesial view, that's what we now have. We're now going to go to an upright view. Go to much further. If you look at the yeah. picture, you'll see that on the the facial side. So in our in our picture, this is the facial side of the tooth. This is the lingual side. The tooth is not a perfect oval. You can see from the picture over here that we've got a little bit more reduction through here and a corner off of here and then pretty rounded across the lingual surface. So in doing our reductions from the top, we're going to do that same thing. We're going to kind of make a two plane reduction on this corner and then we'll start rounding in some of the other corners. So facial side. We're going to take away right here. So that's the part we're going to be taking off to start with. And I think we're also going to take away a little bit right here. I guess that's about it. Here comes reduction number one. And then we'll take reduction number two over here. So there's our, our cuts. Let's see how we grip the picture. So here's what they asked us to do right here. And here's what we actually did. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, at this point we're going to start working on our facial profile. Um, we're primarily going to be concerned with this part of the crown right up here. So I'll be reducing um, right here, a little V through the middle right here, and then a little bit down here around at the neck. So let's go ahead and draw that on our, on our, our block. We'll start out with our central V. We'll be taking away a little bit right through here. We'll be taking away a corner right here and a corner right here. And then we're going to be bringing it in at the gum line a bit. So here we go. Let's start with that central V.